I'm Gabriella Nicole if you are new here. Today I'm going to be doing a little video of how I tease slash backcomb my hair. I've gotten a lot of DMs from you guys about how I get so much volume in my hair. Um, so I figured I would just make a video about it instead of posting my answers on my story every week. So this is probably going to be a quick video. Um, but I just want to show you guys how I get my volume. So I'm going to start off with the tips. So first pro tip is don't wash your hair. And that's going to sound really, really weird. Um, but I find that my most voluminous hair days are on like the second, third, and fourth days of me not washing my hair. Um, so I know that sounds gross. But obviously if you need to shower, if you need to wash your hair, Obviously do that, but I would say add some texturizing spray to the roots or dry shampoo. Um, even though your hair is clean, it just kind of adds some texture and you just jizz it around and it will just add some natural volume, some natural volume. So the three products I would be using on my roots to add some texture and to add some natural volume, um, I would use the Calista dry shampoo and you can use any dry shampoo. I just really like this one. Um, and then I have a texturizing spray, and this one is just by Beach Club. So, this one smells like coconut. It smells like literally the beach. Um, and then this one is a Kevin Murphy dry powder finishing hairspray. So, you would normally use this as hairspray at the end of, like, styling your hair, and it kind of holds together, but it's, like, a dry spray. Um, but I find that this helps as well. So, those are the three items I would just spray on my roots and kind of, like, zhuzh together. So, the next tip is to tease your hair. And I use a hairspray and I use the Dove level four. You guys can see that. Um, I just like the smell of Dove's hairspray, but you can use any hairspray. Um, you don't want it to be like the highest strength because then it'll get sticky and hard and you really don't want that. Um, and then you get a teasing comb and mine is from Sally's Beauty Supply. And this one I think is by Cricut. Yeah, Amped Up by Cricut. Um, and this is like four dollars, I think. I love my teasing combs because you can actually suction off with this if you need to, and it's just awesome. I find that these teasing combs are the best. That's what they look like. Um, so I will just show you guys how I normally tease my hair. I have not added any volume today. This was just from styling it with the round brush. I apologize for the lighting, by the way. So what I do is I section off my hair. And I will add some hairspray. You want to go a little far away from your hair. You don't want to go too close so it doesn't leave a residue. And then you take your teasing comb and you brush up toward your head. And just like look at that. Look how crazy that is. This will calm down throughout the day or the night, whatever you're, whatever you're doing. Um, but that is what I do. It's really simple and I find that these teasing combs really work well. This is not sponsored in any way. I just, this is my favorite teasing comb. And these are all my favorite products. Um, so then I'll go a section lower because I don't want it to be te um, voluminous here and not here. Like I want it to all be even. I don't want it to look like I have a mushroom hat or something. You know what I mean? So I will go a section down. I like to section with my fingers. Um, you can do this however you want, whatever's easiest. Spray away from your head. And I kind of work my way down just to add volume everywhere and then I just push up like that. So that is one side. And then you go over to the other side of the hair. Like that. And then I go section lower. So you can either part your hair and do it how I'm doing it, side to side, or you can just put all your hair back. Um, I'll show you guys in a second. So that is what I do. And then the front pieces always get a little weird like that, so I try and comb them out. Um, but... Yeah, look at all of that volume. I'm gonna add some serum to my head. Um, but yeah, look at that volume. And this stays like pretty much throughout the day. 
Sometimes I bring a little travel size hairspray and my teeth and comb in my purse if I know I'm going to be out for like several hours. Um, but that is the thing, like I, I hate flat hair on me. Um, I don't know what it is, I just think I look better with voluminous hair. Um, so that is what I do every single day, I taste my hair every single day, unless like I'm putting my hair up or I'm not going out. Um, but that is what I do. So another way to tease your hair that isn't, if you don't have a part or you don't put it off to the side or whatever it is, you can just put all your hair back and you can go section by section this way. So you'll take like that, spray it, use the hair and look at that. Look at that awesome, awesome volume. And you keep going back and back with your sections. Like that. And you can literally go all the way back. But because I've teased my hair enough today, <laughs> we're just going to stop because I don't want to look like a crazy person. So that is what I do to add volume to my hair. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys have any questions or anything, leave a comment down below. I'll be sure to answer you guys the best that I can. Um, but yeah, that is how I add volume to my hair. And if you guys have tips or tricks that I did not mention today, um, please leave comments down below. I'd love to learn new tricks because, you know, I like volume. Um, and everyone else watching, um, that'll obviously help them. But um, so yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Make sure to follow my socials, make sure to subscribe to this channel. If you are not already, the button is right there. It's somewhere there. Subscribe to my channel. Hit that notification bell to get notified every time I upload a new video. And I will see you guys in my next one.